Good morning, this is Dr. Bill White, and I want to talk to you about a case where we advanced the mandible, and it's very complicated to advance the mandible where you don't have any posterior teeth. Now, this lady had posterior teeth on the, on the lower right side, but none in the upper arch, and... Uh, none on the lower left side and the teeth on the right side of the arch uh, on the lower were contacting the uh, gingival tissue up above so we had to open the space in there and I'll, I'll get into that in the video and kind of uh, show you a little bit better what uh, what we're doing here now the lady had a, a retrognathic chin. She was well far back here. Let me show you her profile. And this uh, is very detracting <coughs> from the patient's appearance. So we could advance the mandible, and if you keep it there long enough, it'll change the whole condyle uh, fossil mechanism back there and it'll be there but you have to hold it there for several years and use it there all the time so we have to put something in the mouth to keep the jaw forward for a long period of time and we did this on many people that had jaw joint problems and the condyle was going back here and contacting the uh, retrodiscal tissue which is very vascular and a lot of nerves and it's a complicated uh, tissue that produces your synovial fluid which goes into the upper and lower jaw joint space and actually feeds the disc where it has so much pressure there's no blood vessels or no uh, nerves at all in the disc part itself where it takes the pressure back here. And uh, this, uh, it, we advanced the mandible on many of these cases and that's all it took to, to help them. Now we could bring this right out and bring the chin forward. I'll show you, we, uh, I'm going to show you the finish pictures of the lady and then we'll show you that again uh, as we finish the case now here she is now look how much better this person's face looks uh, when it, their jaw is advanced and we did this on a lot of people with tmj uh, problems and i've decided to try it just advanced mandibles on people who didn't have a TMJ problem and it worked. You can bring the condyle forward in the fossa and if you can hold it there long enough the fossa changes and the condyle changes in its position. And uh, here's the lady's face you know, after we uh, finished and it, it just makes so much difference in the way she looks. Let me go back here and show you where we started. You see how she smiles there, the difference in it, and uh, it, it just changes somebody's looks. And uh, they want it to, to be that way, so they will put up with wearing a, uh, a, a bite plate retainer, you know, for years. And if they do, this finally just... The, the, it remodels itself back there and it'll stay, but it doesn't stay if you just move it out there and treat it and turn it loose, it'll go back again. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go through this case and uh, kind of explain it. Now here it was when we started in 1989, and uh, that's the way the lower teeth, the bite was deep and the jaw was back. And now we're going to advance this part of the lower jaw and bring it out to where it meets the upper teeth. We'll get them lined up and straightened up better and 
talk them a little bit, they'll move forward some, and it'll help us advance the mandible even more. And we'll go through that. Now, here the teeth are like that. And, this, well, let me show you this whole. Now, these lower teeth back here in the back, on the lower right side, had nothing above to occlude on. And now this one hit a little bit on the bicuspid, so it didn't come up much. But the second molar came up and actually was touching the tissue up here. Now, we've got to get these teeth down some, and as we bring the jaw forward, we'll lower it too, and that'll create some space up here, and we have to d put something in there that for these to, teeth to chew on so they would actually go down a little bit. They're, they're up about that much. So that'll, let me show you. Now, this is... Uh, complicated orthodontics and and that is a pain to and to lower the teeth back here where you don't have any upper teeth that we would build a block or something and push this down so I had to make kind of temporary partials to do this uh, case like that and I'll show you those in a minute now the other side where we didn't have any any teeth at all back here, we had a big space. We had no problem in putting, now we're going to restore this with a couple of partial uh, dentures that have teeth back here. You could do it with implants. It'd be a lot more costly, but at the time we did this, implants weren't so uh, so good, really. I guess I'd say that way. Uh, all right, now here you can tell these teeth have over erupted, and so we we're going to put something above that we can add pressure to, and we'll cause them to go back and depress them to some extent. We, I don't think we, well, we finally got it down just about level with this uh, area here, but now that was a problem, and uh, we'd make something on the bottom arch. Uh, where it would have a pad back here, and we do one on the, and we'll come around and play this and let these teeth touch an upper pad, and we had it closed where she'd bite on this area, and then this upper pad we would push pressure here, and then we would add to this gradually and depress these molars back here on the lower left side. Now this this is tough orthodontics, but this is what the university trained people really should be doing. Uh, and we have gotten behind in the United States and uh, uh, getting so interested in trying to do this with uh, little plastic shells that we've quit really buckling down and trying to do these very difficult cases and we just uh, used to say well you can't do it but you can do it it's just take some ingenuity of it now let's see what we did now these teeth are flared we want to bring them out and line them up better but there are no posterior teeth back here now, the posterior teeth on the right side have come up, and it, the bottom teeth are touching over here in this area. So we've got to separate that enough to make a partial that'll go in there. Now, I had to work with the regular dentist who was doing this case. I knew him well, and he trusted me, and we had to... Uh, he had to make these partials, the permanent ones, and we made the little temporary ones ourselves, you see. Now, when you look at the cephalometric picture, you can see these teeth have over erupted, especially this one, and that's touching the tissue right here. So we've got to level this out some right in this area and get room in here to advance the mandible 
we'll open the bite and give a little bit more vertical fa facial height to the lady. Now, let's go on to the, uh, after we finished the case, you see, after we were working on it, we had this much space in there. Let me go back and, no, wait just a minute. Now, this is where it was down, and here it is. This is touching. Now, this is not the finish. Now, we had plenty of space over here to put the parcels, but we didn't have any space here to put two teeth up here and uh, give them some room. Now, these teeth were actually touching the tissue. So, as we advanced the mandible out here, we dropped it some, and we depress these teeth to some extent. And now here it is after we had depressed these teeth some. You can see they're down and this space is big enough now where we could put an upper partial and a lower partial uh, would be, this would come up over here. Now on this side, these teeth would not meet anything other than the upper partial. So the, on the other side now we'll only have a kind of a one-sided partial denture that this lady will be wearing. Now you could do all this with implants and then make it a little bit more complicated, but I thought if I ever did another one I would have the implants put in before we start. Now we got this down where we've opened the bite, brought this forward. Now this space is big enough in here where we can put a partial denture on this side and over on this side and one on the bottom that'll have a pad here and have something come along here like a retainer that watches that and some clasp over that. So <clears throat> now we look at the condyle and we had to advance the mandible to do that so the condyle was back here it ended up being out in here somewhere you can see a little bit of it where it's you bite down and then you relax and we had to advance it some so the condyle will be out here and it stays and then there's a remodeling of this whole thing I don't have pictures of them but uh, if it remodeled and the same up above like that. Now, here's the deal in 90, and this other one was in 89, 5 of 89, that's 10 of 90, and this has begun to remodel, but you can see the condyle is out away from the fossa in that. But it gradually uh, remodels itself. Now here we've finished everything. We've got the lower teeth lined up. We close the gap. She's got a terrible crown here that they probably will re uh, do it over. This one is more dara than this. So when they do that over, they'll fill that uh, space in right there. Uh, now this is some temporary stuff we've got on there. And we put a pad on this and put pressure on it, and she would press down on these molar teeth and got more space in there so they could put a good partial denture that it would have some thickness in that area. Now we've got this into a class one relation now, and before, this was back here somewhere. Now, I don't know if I can back up and show that back in that position. Yeah, you can see this cuspid was further back, and the jaw's going to advance it when we finish this. Now, here's the temporary partial thing that we made. We advanced her mandible and had her teeth closing into this gap up here. And we'll go through this again now. 
here's the lower and we put a saddle back here and close in over this and then we keep adding to this and putting additional pressure on it and depress these molar teeth. Now this is tough, hard stuff to do. And on this, we had to advance the mandible out, you know, to where we were going to use it to bring the jaw forward. So this, these teeth fit into here and the, the teeth on the right side, see, they, they would meet the other teeth, the permanent teeth below, and we could add to this gradually, just gradually add to it, and that would depress the lower molar teeth. And this is, uh, it takes a little ingenuity on your part, and you wouldn't want to jump on a case like this unless you really uh, are going in orthodontics. Now you can see the track of the lower teeth right here. And we we're just behind the upper teeth, so we gave her enough overjet and overbite to where she could bite her teeth together and have her back teeth not hit, you see. That's what we have to do there. Now, here's the night one. This is what she wore at night with this ramp holding it out. In the daytime, she would wear this one, and she wanted to stay out there so bad she wouldn't have looked that way. She would wear this day one, and we had nothing to hold it out there. And here's where we added acrylic over here to that uh, day one, and we added it to the night uh, deal also. And there they are again, just looking at them in a little tray. Now here's where her jaw was to start with. And then I'll show you, and here's where it, we put it. Now, they've, we've made partials for this. And you see these teeth right here are almost level with these back here. We had to depress the back, and that brought this up a little bit. And now that's fitting in there good. And we had him make uh, the partials. Now, this is Dennis was rather reluctant to go in there and build these partials in, with this advancing of the jaw. Now on the bottom, we just had clasp over here and a bar coming over here, kind of like a retainer. And then we had the clasp with teeth over here and their teeth on the upper on both sides. Now I'll come back here and show you. There's where we started. And we're going to bring this jaw out to here, see. And that brings her chin out. Now this, and these teeth are the ones that are touching the gum. We had to put pressure on that to bring it down and get these things lined up. Let me see, I didn't erase, oh yeah, I did. All right. Uh, now this is a a complicated case that you do. But this can be done. And you need to, we need to know this. At one time, the American orthodontics was the leading thing in the world. But it's not anymore. People in Asia are doing, I feel like, better orthodontics. And we need to get on the stick and get going. Now we advance this mandible, and now we've got it in a class one relation. And these are, see, these are artificial teeth back here in the back. And she can chew out here, and she looks so good there that she will wear this thing, and she'll have to stay with it. And over a period of years, the whole mechanism back around the jaw and the, the condyle and the, the fossa and this whole mechanism remodels. And it takes a while to do it, but once it remodels, the jaw will just stay there. There's the lower jaw with that. And, and here is the upper jaw with the 
acrylic. Now we put a little ramp on this just to remind her to keep her jaw right out here, but then you've got the inner digitation of the teeth to meet at that point. And there she was, see, to start with. And there's her jaw, and here she is later, 91. And uh, you t take somebody and make them look that much better, they're going to really cooperate and try to stay out there. They just look so much better. And the, the regular position of the teeth, the smile, that was with the retainer in there, the partial in there she didn't wear. It. So I'm going to uh, quit and hush up. We've been here about 20, 21 minutes, but there's a lot to learn in this case. But don't try this unless you have really conquered the simple stuff in orthodontics. Uh, and they don't teach this in school, and I know. Uh, in fact, they ought to be teaching this to the university-trained orthodontists and get American orthodontics back on the map uh, instead of, I mean, if you have to charge them a lot more to do it, okay, go ahead. But do this complicated adult orthodontics. There's just a world of it out there. And there's a lot of it goes untreated simply because people don't want to get out there and work to do it. So uh, I'm going to hush up it for make a bunch of enemies out of orthodontic people. But I hope that you get something from this. And uh, I'm going to close out now and say goodbye and hope you'll join our group and subscribe to it. So goodbye for now.